What's up, guys? NBA Talk. Um, here with the NBA playoffs, of course. Uh, Sunday, May 1st, 2016. Um, we have another series wrapped up. Uh, apparently we're still in round one mixed with round two. Like, they didn't waste no time to, um, continue on to the second round. Uh, right now we're currently having the Golden State Warriors versus Portland. Um... This is round two, game one for them. Um, this is a weird scheduling right here. So, the Miami Heat defeat the Charlotte Hornets. Wrapping up the series, they're moving on to the second round, to the semifinals. Um, Gordon Drogic showed up big time tonight. Uh, he has been missing for most part of this season. Uh, I mean, this series, sorry. And he stepped up big time, um, not uh, messing up so much, um, driving into the paint a lot, um, being open for three-point shots. Um, D-Way didn't have to do so much at all. He only did so little tonight because he had a big-ass game on um, game five. Well, game six, sorry. Game six to uh, close out the uh, Charlotte Hornets. At Charlotte, uh, this time Gordon Dragic uh, picks up where D Wade left off and just spreading the floor, pick and rolls, driving into the paint, um, just doing all the good stuff. Um, the game was 106 to 73. Um, uh, Dr Gordon Dragic had 25 points and four assists and six rebounds. Um, 12 points for D Wade, who also picked up six rebounds as well. Um, 10 points and 12 rebounds from Hassan Whiteside and picked up five block shots. This guy was just knocking him down. Um, Luau Dang, 15 points. Uh, this guy has been phenomenal this entire round. This, yeah, this entire series, he's been phenomenal. Being a good uh, spread out shooter, um, stretch, stretching the floor really well. Uh, he he shot two out of four from the three point line. Uh, Joe Johnson did not have a good game. Uh, only nine points, three out of ten. Uh, they really need him to show up. They really need him to show up big time. I'm I'm really gonna get out of him this time. Uh, they really need him. Um, he was a good passer. He put up four assists as well. Um, he was a good floor general. Um, at least spreading the floor wise. And that was the key throughout this entire game. Spreading the floor, opening shots, or opening drives into this game. And a good transitional play. Very good transitional play. Um, um, Gerald Green coming off the bench with 16 points. And a couple of players playing good uh, defense. Richardson coming back. Thought he was going to be injured, but no, he's good to go. Winslow playing very good defense. Uh, Tyler Johnson came back, uh, but of course he came in the fourth quarter when it was just waste time, just waiting for the inevitable. Uh, it was pretty good. Uh, the Miami Heat really did good on their guard play, which I never really discussed that much on. Uh, for the most part of the series, uh, the reason how Charlotte Hornets were kept into this uh, series was their guard um, play. Um, Kimba Walker was just beating the crap out of everybody. Jeremy Lin was showing up when he needed to be. Like, he just, he turned it up a notch. And then you have Nicholas Batum playing good hard ball. And you have Courtney Lee playing good hard defense. Good defense. Um, that was pretty much the norm. This is how Charlotte was able to uh, beat Miami Heat on no multiple occasions. Uh, not good defense on the guards. But this time around, they were able to hold Kimba Walker, Courtney Lee, Jeremy Lin, Nicholas Batum. All of those guys um, just held them down. And this was a very easy win for them towards the end, at least. Because in the fourth quarter, um, the Charlotte Hornets gave up. They they pretty much said that, yeah, we're not going to win this series at all. We're not going to win this game. It was like around 10-minute mark, and just like everyone gave up. They had the starters out, but they just stopped uh, putting the pressure on them. 
I'm not surprised because that third quarter was nasty. Very nasty. Only putting up 11 points in that third quarter. Um, Kimber Walker had 9 points and 6 assists. 3 out of 16 shooting. Like I said, they did a great job of holding this guy down. This guy has been dominating uh, this entire series until now. Courtney Lee with 11 points, 5 out of 8 shooting, which is not... That, that's pretty good. It was a pretty good game for him. Uh, Al Jefferson did not have a good game. Only four points and two rebounds. Um, uh, Kim Kiske had 12 points uh, and six rebounds. And five points for Marvin Williams. Um, we, we look towards the bench. Jeremy Lin had nine points, four out of eight shooting. And ten points for Nicholas Batum, uh, three out of nine shooting. Of course, he hasn't recovered from his injuries. Uh, I think it was a shoulder injury. Um, Cody Zeller had three out of seven from the field, uh, six points and seven rebounds, and seven points from Jeremy Lamb. Yeah. Um, so that's pretty much it to say. Um, Charlotte should be proud of themselves for getting this far. This is a much improved team from last um, time they were in the playoffs, which where they got swept by the Miami Heat. That's right. Miami Heat, I think, in 2014. This is a way step up. Um, the guard play is very fantastic, and I think they should keep this lineup. Uh, I'm not sure on Courtney Lee, though. Maybe or maybe not. If he could step up better on the offensive end, just like provide a little bit more so that way... Kimba Walker doesn't have to do so much. I like Courtney Lee's defense. It's very good. Uh, if he can improve on his offense again, because I know he could put up the numbers, especially back when he was in Memphis, um, he would be just fine. He would be just fine. It would be easy money for the um, Charlotte Hornets to get him back. Um, you have Jeremy Lin reviving himself, giving a glimpse of uh, Lance Sanity when he was back in my New York Knicks. I would keep him. Um, there's a whole bunch of guards that are free agents. Actually, there's a whole bunch of players that are free agents. And Jeremy Lin, Courtney Lee, uh, Al Jefferson, and Marvin Williams, and Nicholas Batum are just amongst the people that are free agents this summer. I'll get Jeremy Lin back. I'll get Courtney Lee back because I have a feeling that he could improve. If he can improve, then he'll be a good steal. Nicholas Batum has been a fantastic asset, um, putting up points, rebounds, um, assists, because he's a good playmaker as well. He had a fantastic year, even though he's been injured from for most instances of this season. I would keep him. Um, however, the um, the front court has, is the real problem. Um, Al Jefferson, I don't know if I could bring him back. Um, he's a half and half. Marvin Williams, I'll, I don't know. I think at this point of his career, no, at this point with the Charlotte Hornets, I think it's time to move on and get someone new. Um, that boy, Michael Chris, Michael Cape Grits, um, I, I don't know what to do with that dude. This, that dude always getting injured all the time. Jeez, man. Like it would have been very good for him because he could have been guarding D Wade all the time. It would have been much, much, much better if um Michael Kidd was on D Wade or Gordon Dragic or Lou Aldang, matter of fact. Uh it would have been a very good matchup because they would have someone to actually guard Lou Aldang from the three point line or Joe Johnson lower him even more. It'd be good, um this front court needs improvement. That is for sure. This front court, the back court is fantastic. And I can see them growing even more. They have Jeremy Lamb back there too. Uh, they got a couple of players they could work on with. Um, free agent is blooming. They, they should have the cap space to do so. They have uh, Kimber Walker already secured until the 2018-2019 season. So you don't have to worry about your star player anymore because I believe he has improved to be a star in this season, um, in this league, matter of fact. Um, so 
There's a lot to improve on, but I believe in the Charlotte Hornets can um, do it. They have the system. They have uh, Clifford um, as a head coach. Very fantastic uh, for him. Uh, finished as one of the nominees for Coach of the Year. So that's a pretty good step up for this team. Um, Miami Heat, you wait on to the Indiana Pacers versus Toronto Raptors game. We don't know who's going to win. It goes down tonight as the main event. We will know who Miami Heat will face, but that's for later. It's great. There's a fantastic series. It's game seven. Fantastic series. Um, That's it for me. We went on the Golden State Warriors versus Portland Trailblazers, which is on right now. So watch on ahead. So until then, peace out, guys.